Hi, so this is video lesson four, Love of My Life by Queen. Um, it's been requested by someone in the comments on a previous video. Um, we're just going to do the first eight bars I think we've got uh, and just kind of get into it and try and simplify this, this pattern a little bit. Okay, so tabs we've got up are a sort of simplified version of what I've found various versions online and so on. Uh, so all we're going to do here is we're going to be starting with a D major chord and then we're going to be switching to a B minor chord. But we're not going to bar the whole of the B minor and we're not going to play the D major like you normally would. We're actually going to bar the G, B and E strings here for the D major and then place our second finger on the third fret of the B string to give us our D major. Okay, then we're going to play the D, G and B and pull off our second finger so that we have a pull off to the second fret and then we're going to hammer onto the third again. So it sounds like this. Really nice if you can get that pull off hammer on. And then we're just going to play the high E, okay, so just that first part like that, okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to play, just before we change to the B here, we're going to play this 4th fret on the A string, okay, so it's going to be like this. Third finger reaches to the 4th fret there, okay. Then what we're going to do to play this B minor shape, right, instead of playing the whole of the B minor, which is a pain, we're just going to keep it, we're going to change it, instead of doing a B minor, we're going to do a B minor 7, okay, a variation of that, where we only need to bar up to the A string, the B there on the 2nd fret of the A string, we're going to make sure we're barring really well on the 2nd fret of the G, because we're going to play that one open, and then we've basically just got our D chord under there, okay, so then we're just going to play the A, G, and B strings together, and do our hammer on pull off again in exactly the same position and finish up on that second fret of the high E too. Okay, so when we start, we're going to play like this. Okay, so all we're doing there is just missing, basically missing the D string out. And what I'm doing when I'm playing these first ones on the D and the B, I'm actually rolling and doing a really quick arpeggio with my fingers. So it goes, instead of playing them all together. But if you wanted to simplify, you could do it just all together, like it is in the tabs, okay? So it's just like this. Makes it a little bit easier to play, right? But the roll sounds nice, if you can do it. Then, playing an open A there just before we go into the next chord which is just an E minor, just a standard open E minor, okay, and we're going to play that one just as an arpeggio, pretty nice, and then we're going to come back, so we're going to go E string, A string, D string, G string, B string, and then come back, keep our chord on, and we're going to come back to the D string and play that second fret on the D string one more time. Then we're playing the high, uh, the sorry, the third fret on the B string, on, and then we're pulling it off. Okay, so we're going to do that. We can play this E either with our second and third fingers, and then use our fourth finger for that, or we could play it like that with our first and second fingers, and use our third finger for that. I find it a little easier like this way around, right? Doing that one to open, okay? So all of that so far sounds like this. And this is a sort of simplified version, so we're just going to do this three and then pull off and then we're going to be changing into the next section where we're playing these partial chords. 
And what we're really playing here is an A minus, an A major, sorry, an A dominant seven. A dominant seven there, just with two fingers. So that would be, normal chord would be open A, second fret D, open G, second fret B, open E. It's our dominant. But we're just going to be playing the D, G, and B strings together. Now we're alternating that with an open A string, so. So we're playing with our thumb, first and second finger on those strings. And then the thumb comes up to the A string, next chord. And we're playing that open A in between each one. Now the second chord we're playing is a variation on that B minor seven, okay? So even though there's usually a B minor in this, we're actually playing B minor seven there. And then we're into a C dominant seven. So we're just playing this part though. So we don't need the bar, okay? So this part. Here we're going up to fourth fret on the D, third fret on the B. Still open G every time. Then five and five on the D and the B string, and then we're going back down to the twos there for our A dominant seven, okay, our A seven. So that's the whole of that part, it should sound like this. Okay, and then we're back into the same bit again. First part of this just repeats, so if we get that up, we can have a little look at it. Okay, so as you can see, the first part is just exactly the same. Okay, just starts exactly the same as before. So, then we go to that four. Same again, all the way to that open A string there, right at the end of that B phrase, okay? So this part, still playing that open A. Then we're coming up here and we're playing fifth fret on the D string, seventh fret on the high E, then we've got fifth fret on the B string and seventh fret on the G, okay? And then we're playing those D and G, the D and the high E together. And then we're gonna alternate then between the G, the B and then back to the G, just like that. It's really nice. Just this little phrase here, it just plays it once, but it sounds really nice practice it just in sequence like this. Then we're going to slide down and I like using my little finger as the guide here so that's on the seventh fret right there okay and I'm barring here at the fifth to make it easier. Then as I slide down to the next shape I'm keeping my little finger on so I'm just going five to seven and then my first finger is going to the third fret on the B string and my second finger is jumping over the top to the D string now on the fourth fret. And that's helping keep me anchored, okay, that little finger. All right, so here what I'm doing is I'm doing those D and high E together. Then I'm going to the B, open high E, back to the third fret on the B. Okay, so it should be like this. Really nice little sequence. Then we're into our chords, which are lovely. So what we've got here is we've got an alternating open E after every chord strum. So if we ignore that for now and just look at the chords, we've got an E major. Then we're sliding up to essentially an F sharp minor. Okay. Then we're going for some sort of weird variation here. This is where it gets a little funky. Some kind of strange, almost sounds like a dominant chord. Um, and then a B minor. Okay, these are the underlying chords of what we're doing. But we're just playing parts of them. So we're playing all of the E major. Then we're going to slide up and we're going to play 4-4-2 four, four, on the A, D and G string. And all the other strings open, okay? Then we're going to go up to a 5-6 four on the A, D and G strings. 
and then we go up to a 997 on the A, D, and G string. All the other strings open, and in between those, we're going to play an open E, just the E string on its own, low E. Just like that, yeah, and that's the whole thing. And this variation here, where we're playing the notes on the A string, just cuts to fill it out. It means we can play all the strings and we don't have to worry about not hitting the A string. It could be a bit awkward not hitting that A. So we can just strum the whole thing. Just like that, okay? So it should sound like this all together. One last time. on those chords as well so there we go that's the whole thing uh yeah good luck let me know if you have any more suggestions or requests for lessons um and let me know how you get on with it see you next time oh don't forget to like comment and subscribe yeah <laughs> bye